Hey guys, Michael here from Dapper Raptor, and I'm going to go through the process of adding in a new weapon to the multiplayer survival game template. Now, um, theoretically, there is all the content you need to know how to do this on the on the YouTube videos I've already covered, but some people are struggling with the specifics around weapons, so we're just going to go over that quickly. Super easy process, but yeah. So we're going to use uh, one of the weapons from this modern Russian weapon pack. I've already added it to the project and just removed some of the stuff we don't need. Um, so by the standard, you only get a skeletal mesh. I've exported the skeletal mesh and then re-imported it as a static mesh as well. We need one of each, one for the pickup and one for actually using on the character. And what we're going to do is we're going to change it so we can just put it in our world. So, the first thing we need to do is um, add the data to the um, data table. Now, we're use, making an assault rifle here, so we can use the machine gun that comes with an example as a reference. And really, that's the idea of all the example content. So, all this stuff here is here, so then you can look at it and go, okay, machine gun. So, this is how you make a machine gun. Okay, cool, and then go and make your own. So I'd urge anyone that is trying to make stuff or is struggling to take a look at this stuff and use this as reference because you're going to learn a lot more that way than me just showing it in the tutorial. But anyway, so we'll add a new row and we'll call this Russian Machine Gun and we'll call this, give it the name of Russian Machine Gun. So this one here is the name of the data entry, and this one here is what shows up in your inventory. Now we don't have a uh, thumbnail, so we're just going to use something that isn't already in use. Let's go with that. That's definitely going to stand out. Um, this is the tutorial weapon we made. So that's just the data for the description. And we want to make sure it's set to weapon here. Weight, we'll just say 5 kilos, we only want a quantity of 1, we'll make it destructible and droppable. Obviously how you do this is all up to you if you don't want your weapons to be dropped or destroyed, etc. You want to make sure the stack size is set to 1, and I think we give it a cooldown time. Nope, we don't worry about cooldown time, but we hide the timer. Now the pickup mesh is the one we just have here. So we go back to content and go into here. Pickup mesh is the static mesh that we want to use. So we've got that selected, we can just click on that and go there. The sound on use, um, I guess we use shotgun fire, is that the one we're using? Yep, we're using the shotgun fire. I don't have the sounds for it, obviously this is just an example, but uh, we'll set it up to use the MG rounds. And we don't need to worry about the equipment type because it's not equipment. We do need to worry about the equipment mesh though. So we use this here as the equipment mesh. And then we don't need to worry about any of these things as they're armor and bags, books, books, consumables, keys, placeable items. We do need a usable actor and we'll set that up in a second. I don't think we need to worry about a usable limit. Nope. But we do want to go down and add damage. So it's set to default 10 damage. We'll just leave it at that. Oops, now I'm on the shotgun. So it doesn't have a default damage. We'll set it to 10. Um, weapon range, so how far we want to go. We'll just say 1,000. Oh, we'll make it go a bit further than that. 2,000. Projectile count. We only want one. This isn't a shotgun or anything like that. Uh, weapon spread. So we've got a 5 on the default one, let's just make it spread a little bit more. And we allow automatic, and I can't remember what the rates are, so we've got this one at 5 bullets per second. We'll just leave it at that. So like I said, this is the idea of the example content. You can look at the machine gun and go, okay, these are a, a basis to get from, a start from. Make that your own, and then when in testing you can kind of play around with it. So we'll save that. We still need to make the usable actor, but we'll just drop that there for now. So now we can actually set this to the Russian machine gun. Now you can see we've got our weapon in the game. So the next thing we want to do is work out the offset for the weapon. Now this is a little bit annoying, but unfortunately this is just part of working from a template and importing other assets. Um, so we want to open up our player mesh. 
and I'm in blueprints, that's why I can't find it. Meshes. Go to character and then open up the character here. Go to skeleton. And we want to find the weapon slot there. Now it's going to be a lot easier if we set up a preview um, animation. So if we just select any animation, iron sights will do. And we'll just pause this there. Yep, that's good enough. So this gives us a rough point to go from. Now I'm going to do this really, really roughly because it's something you have to set up in your own project. And actually it's going to be better if we use the hip one. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but basically what we want to do is right click on weapon slot and go add preview asset. And you want to find the preview asset you're using. Is that the one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yep. So straight away we can see the weapon's facing, whoops, facing the wrong way. So what we want to do is just rotate that around. We want to get it looking more or less right. Now this might mean changing the scale of the weapon. It might mean changing rotation as we've already done here, moving it around. So you just want to get it roughly right. So obviously it's not even in the right bit there. I'm going to drop it down and move it back. And I think that's going to do. I mean, it's not great. You can see his thumbs going through it. But again, it's just something you have to play around and make work with your project. This is just a quick tutorial, so that's good enough for me. So then what we want to do is take that information for use. So do open up a notepad or something like that. And just copy and paste this stuff over. So location, rotation, oops, and scale, if I can type would be good. Just want to copy and paste each one of these. And scale obviously we didn't even change but we would just copy it over for any for use anyway. So you just want to put that off to the side so you've got it as a reference. I've got that on my third monitor there. And then what we want to do is actually reset that because we don't want that permanently changed. And we can delete the preview asset. So we didn't make any changes to that. It will ask you to save anyway, so just do that. Now, so the idea of that was to get what this weapon needs to sit at for our use when our character is actually holding it. So we go back up to the SGT folder, go into blueprints and go to actors. We want to find the one called. Um, what is it? It's the parent, parent. Why is the parent not showing up there? So I'm pretty sure it's usable, but the easiest way to do it would just be to copy this guy here. I think this is a parent. Yeah, so it's usable. So we'll just copy and paste this one, duplicate that, and we'll call it bp underscore sgt underscore tutorial gun. So the reason I've done that is this has already has the emitter set up in it. If you want to do it from scratch, that's fine. You would go into the actors folder, right click on usable and click create child. Um, we're just going to use this one here. So in here we want to change our usable mesh to the one we're using. That one there. And this is where we want to copy and paste our stuff. So at the moment, that's facing the wrong way on that. So we want to just use this information here that we got from there and plug that into this. So I'm just going to read off of that and go negative 10.087280, and then rotation negative 1.7809444, negative 1.79.948380. It's gone upside down, negative 3.332569. So that hasn't worked out exactly how I want it to work out. Just rotate that back around. See if that works. I think that should work out okay. We'll find out. Compile and save that one. And we also need to actually double check that our skeletal mesh has a muzzle socket, which it should do. So if we open up the skeletal mesh and go to skeleton, it doesn't. So we need to add in a socket and we want to find the best place to add it. 
doesn't really seem to be a good place. So we just right click and go add socket. And we call this muzzle. And now we want to move that to where it makes sense for the muzzle. So that's good enough. And once that's done, we should be more or less in business. So if we open up, oops, go back to blueprints, go to data and open up the table again. Scroll down to our Russian machine gun and find the usable actor, which is this one here. And we just want to set it to the tutorial gun one we made and then save. So from there, we should be able to walk over here, pick this guy up. And with any luck, there it is. You can see that it's got all our information here. And there we go, it's equipped. Obviously don't have any ammo, but if I swap this apple over to the machine gun ammo. Ammo, 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 there we go. It's only gonna have one ammo, but bear with me. So I should have set the quantity to that. There we go. So I'll set that quantity to 25. And then we can see our weapon actually working. And if we put this here so we can see our ammo count go down. You see our spread's a bit high. But that's how you do that. So that's how you get a weapon up and going guys, um, like I said it's pretty easy and the content that's already out there should really cover it, but that's how you get it, specifically set up a gun in the pro template. Hope that helps, if you need any more help or suggestions please be sure to hit me up on support.dapperaptor.xyz. Cheers.